All right, guys, let's get this thing started. What you need to bear in mind is that this strategy that I will be showing you guys is best fit for this particular field. No, this is the seventh stage in the Theodore Mechanicus. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. What we're gonna do is build two power towers right here. And then right here, we will also be putting down a mine as a contingency plan. So if an enemy gets away from us, it will more than likely get annihilated before it can go into the single escape portal that we have in this stage. So that's why it's pretty convenient because there's only one way that these guys can go to escape from us. Right here, we'll erect a hydro and a cryo tower so that we can proc freeze effect. And that will pretty much be it for no. No, you have to pay keen attention to where I'm placing these towers, guys. Because if you place it anywhere else, you will be at a disadvantage. The strategy that I'm showing you is optimized for winning this particular stage of the theater mechanicals. The most problematic wave is the first and the second one because you won't have all of your towers done right away. And these hilly trails tend to run pretty quickly. You know, here they come. So this is a loadout that I like to use because I can freeze these guys. Uh, I can freeze these guys before they get away. Just before he escaped, I was able to pretty much blow him up. Let's go ahead and put another pirate tower right here. Let's go ahead and put another power tower right here. So right here we'll be putting the Mystic Mechanicus. This will give a boost not only to our power towers, but to the Cryo and the Hydro. So these will be much more powerful right now. All right, so we've got five more enemies left in the first wave and it's going pretty good so far. Two enemies left. They're walking pretty slow, that's good. We're gonna go ahead and put a Cryo Tower right here. And we'll also put one down there as soon as we have enough Beneficus. Because we're constantly proccing Hydro damage with Barbara, we can be assisting the Cryo Towers. Pyro is pretty much our most powerful towers so you want to give them as much perk as possible they're super strong and now we're increasing the speed in which they attack that's pretty convenient if you ask me all right so let's go ahead and start the second wave right off the bat and these enemies will be very annoying because you see that they're running they're pretty much sprinting they won't be stopping for anything so we want to be prepared for that let's go ahead and start busting out our elemental skills and get ready for this we want to stop them as soon as possible so that the towers can take them over. Alright, good, they're down. Still haven't gotten enough Venificus yet to erect another tower to help us out. See that he's getting frozen because I have the Hydra status on him. Alright, so we have enough now, but let's get rid of these guys first before we consider moving. So what we're gonna do pretty much is put another Cryo Tower down here. So we're gonna go ahead and put a Hydra Tower right here to freeze the guys and kind of slow them down so that the other towers can take them out. We'll be employing the same thing right here. We'll build another Hydra Tower to slow them down. And then right here we'll have a Pyro Tower and the same thing down here, a Pyro Tower right behind the Cryo and the Hydra Towers. Like I said before guys, pay keen attention to where I'm putting the towers because it's very important that you put them in the same place to benefit from the same strategy that I'm employing right now. Alright, so we've got enough Venificus. Let's go ahead and build our Pyro Tower right here. Okay, so we just got enough Venificus. Let's go ahead and build that. And that's pretty much it. This is the technique that we'll be working with, guys. So right down there, we've got Hydro and Cryo to freeze the enemies in their tracks. And I tend to help out with Barbara by employing Hydro status on the enemies so that the Cryo Towers can freeze them. Then while they are frozen, the Pyro Tower will take them out because it has devastating damage. Right here, we've got two Pyro Towers. 
and we've got a lineman to take them out just in case they get past our defenses. We've got two power towers here and they can pretty much attack in any direction so they can help to destroy enemies going there, enemies going toward their escape right over here or enemies coming from that direction. We also have the mystic right here in the middle to give a boost to these four towers. And also we have the same thing here, freezing the enemy and then destroying them in their tracks. And here we go, we've got these guys coming now, Registeel from Pokemon. They are very dangerous, so you want to take them out as soon as possible. They don't stop for anything. The instant that they're frozen, they thaw out and they start nice moving again. Let's dance. All right, so we've got the Blazing Axe Mitochurls coming next and the Helichurl Berserkers. These guys run. They run like it's the end of the world. And here come those guys. They're coming in really fast. So we really have to be careful. You see that they were frozen for such a long time. And that's exactly what I'm looking for, guys. I want these guys to be frozen so that the power tower can take their time to get rid of them. So as you can see, they're not even getting close anymore. They're getting taken out right off the bat. But just in case, I constantly proc my elemental abilities so that if they get close, I can turn on them and help the towers to take them down as quick as possible. The faster you can take these guys down, the better. Because others are coming in right behind them, hot on their heels. So you want to take them down so that the towers can move on to attacking other enemies without delay. If you have like a huge congregation right here, they're going to get through, no doubt. Even if I have the mine, they're going to destroy the mine and by the time you can put up another one, they're already flying through the escape portal. So you really have to be careful. Okay, let's see what we'll be going with next. Okay, we'll go with this one. The enemies are always wet. So we'll always be getting that attack boost because we have Barbara and we're using her to proc Hydro status. So that is a good perk to employ right now with the strategy that we're working with. And already we see a ton of Metatrolls running in this direction. So we're gonna go ahead and start putting down our elemental skills. So that we can start getting these guys. So he pretty much got destroyed. Just now, let's go ahead and quickly put back a mine down before anybody else comes by. But the meter churl is our biggest problem. So we really need to pay attention to them or we'll be in trouble. Uh, good so far guys, very good so far. Usually they don't make it to the mine, but sometimes they do. All you have to do is just reconstruct it once it's destroyed and you're good to go. This is our contingency plan. It's imperative that you always have this down guys. The Mysticus Mechanicy increased attack speed of nearby Mechanicy by 10%. So, which means that both of these Pyro Towers, along with the Hydro and the Cryro, they will both be getting not only a power boost from the Mystic Mechanism, but also a speed boost. And that's exactly what we want. In this game, Vaporize and Melt deals the biggest damage, not only in Theater Mechanicus, but just in the game in general. That's how the multiplier works for that elemental reaction. Vaporize and melt these double the damage. We've got two enemies left guys and that will pretty much be it for the game. And as you can see, we didn't have any problems aside from our landmine getting taken out twice. But that's what it's there for guys. It's our contingency. <laughs> And that's pretty much it guys. If you go ahead with this strategy, you are guaranteed to win. But I reiterate, you have to put the towers in the exact same place where I put them. And you can switch your team around, but ensure that you have a character in there like Barbara. Even Sinchu could work, but have a character that can constantly proc Hydra status on the enemies so that your pyro towers can capitalize on that and deal maximum damage while you're freezing the enemies. So that's pretty much it guys. That is my tutorial on how to beat the final level of the Theater Mechanicus. Hope you like the content. If you have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to leave it down in the comments. Consider subscribing for future content like this. This is Devon. You have been watching the Feels and I will catch you on the next one. Later.